The OG heiress is back. Watch out. Out of the shadows, my voice is loud and clear. I'm ready to bring my special brand of influence to this town. The most beautiful masterpieces have weathered a storm or two, and I'm no exception. I'm not just a pretty face, I'm a gorgeous one. I had a few things that I needed to discuss with Roxy, so I asked her to lunch. Hi. I'm glad that you could make it. Sure. I was a little alarmed by your tone at the painting reveal, but it's cool. So I know that you and I aren't particularly best friends, but I have enjoyed getting to know you. What I don't really appreciate is you trying to insert yourself in my marriage, and then offering your opinion to our mutual friends. Really? I think you probably need to reevaluate your story and who you're hearing things from, because, sweetie, I have no interest in inserting myself in your marriage. Please don't backtrack now. Dominique told me everything you said. And Dominique is full of shit because that's not true. You know, I worried when someone like you ended up getting knocked up by someone like Drake. Excuse me? I mean, let's face it, you come from two different worlds, Sophia. Wow, you're such a bitch. I had it all wrong about you, girl. You try to come off as some misunderstood artist who just so happens to have grown up rich, but you're really just a spoiled and entitled, desperate, pathetic <laughs> You might have people fooled, but I ain't one of them. Do not contact my husband again, bitch. Would Drake's family be proud of the behavior I displayed at the restaurant with Roxy? No, do I care? Hell no. Oh, how classy. Keep proving how uneducated and classless you are, Sophia. At this point, you deserve every misfortunate thing that comes your way, sweetheart. Sophia is trash, and that's obvious. I have a photo shoot for a high fashion ad campaign I'm doing and I thought I'd ask Maggie to come by and watch me in my element. Hey girl, so glad you could make it. I'm so pleased that you invited me. You look absolutely radiant. What's up? So I wanted to know your opinion on something. Okay, what would you like to know? Well, since Dane and I are kind of getting serious, I wanted to know what you thought of me maybe doing like a couple's dinner for all of the girls to meet him. Nice quiet, no drama night for everyone and their man. Have lots of nice nectar, some good food. What do you think? I really want to show my fine man off to these hungry bitches. I think that is an absolutely fabulous idea. You know how excited I am for you and eager to meet him. And always love any excuse for a party. I just don't know about Sophia and Roxy being at the same place. Why wouldn't they be able to be in the same place? They got in a major argument at lunch today about some things that were apparently said at the painting reveal. It was really heated. Well, I mean, I told Sophia that Roxy was talking mad about her at the painting reveal because she was to me. And I guess she didn't expect me to tell her. You were the one who told Sophia? Oh, I didn't know that. I really do love Dominique, but it seems like she's been behind the scenes a lot lately, stirring the pot. I'll be cautious from now on when it comes to letting her know anything. San Sequoia is small, and word obviously travels fast. So I heard about Sophia and Roxy, and I've been sitting on some information that I should have probably told Sophia earlier, because I know Maggie isn't going to tell her. So I'm glad you could come over and visit on such short notice. Thank you. No problem. I'm glad I could come over as well. So it seemed like there was something specific that you wanted to discuss. Well, I mean, I would be lying if I said I hadn't heard what has been going on with Roxy, which is why I feel like I should just go ahead and tell you something that I am guessing you didn't know. Oh my. I mean, that's a little alarming. Maybe with me telling Sophia this bombshell, it will strengthen our friendship. Regardless, I think it's important for her to know. There's a reason that Roxy and Drake are so close, and I guess everyone knows except you. They both come from two big, well-known families here, and it's almost like they were destined to end up together. They dated throughout high school and in college, and then were engaged. Rumors circulated that Roxy became pregnant. And in those families, being pregnant and not married was just not accepted. So they abruptly ended their engagement and Roxy disappeared for about a year. 
when she got back, she didn't have anything to do with Drake. And it's like their entire relationship was just erased or something. Literally, the first time I had even heard her mention him in more than two decades was at the painting reveal. I think I'm going to pass out. So basically what you're trying to tell me is that my husband was once engaged to be married to Roxy. He allegedly got her pregnant. And instead of marrying her, she was shipped away somewhere to have the baby. And then she came back here and everyone just sort of overlooked it. In what world does any of this shit make sense? I swear, living in San Sequoia gets more f***ing insane by the minute. I can't take much more. I planned this dinner at one of my fave upscale restaurants here in San Sequoia for the ladies to meet my new man, Dane. Apparently the drama between Roxy and Sophia was too grand for either of them to come tonight, which honestly kind of pisses me off. But whatever. Well, girls, I'm so glad that you could come tonight. And Gordon and Gerfin, I'm thrilled that the both of you could make it as well. I am enthralled for everyone to meet Dane. Thank you for having us, girl. We are so excited to meet the lucky man that has the luxury of being with our gorgeous friend. We wouldn't miss it. Glad to have you as a part of our crew, Dane. Thank you, ladies. And gentlemen as well. I'm pretty crazy about this girl, that's for sure. You two are the cutest. We are so thrilled for this relationship and cannot wait to see it continue to blossom. I'm really not shocked that neither Roxy nor Sophia showed up to Dominique's dinner for us to meet Dane. I mean, I guess Dakota filled Sophia in on the connection between Roxy and Drake. Yes, it's shocking. But no, I didn't feel like it was my place to let Sophia in on the secret. Although it has been quite some time since all of that happened, it was quite the event. There was lots of speculation and allegations regarding what actually happened. But just like I don't like for people to speculate on my life, I was going to refrain from doing so on this matter. Dakota is a nosy bitch, so it's no surprise that she found no harm in sticking her nose where it does not belong. I don't regret telling Sophia. She needed to know. Man, you're in for one hell of a ride with this group of girls. Haha, -ha. buckle up. That's the damn truth. And our wives used to be the dream team. Really kicked ass and took names. Griff and I don't get in the women drama, but I guess after a few glasses of nectar, I just wonder why you two can't get back to solid ground. Gordon, you would have to ask your wife about that. I have tried to repair our friendship multiple times. What Gordon said made absolute sense, nectar or not. And I'm ready to just let my walls down and honestly let Dakota know that I do miss her as my best friend, a lot. Not Gordon derailing the dinner that I planned to announce my relationship to put a spotlight on Maggie and Dakota's issues. Over it. You know, guys, that's something I'd like to see as well. But let's remember that the reason that we're here is about me and Dane. At this point, I'm feeling just a little melancholy and dejected by this entire group of girls from San Sequoia. On a night where it's supposed to be about me and my relationship, two of them get in an altercation and just don't show up, and the two that actually come can't see past their own issues to celebrate anyone else. It's disheartening. For more information on The Real Sim Wives of San Sequoia, visit www.therealsimwives.com and like and subscribe to our channel.